Sweet, that was number five. Let's look at number six. How many valence electrons does bromine have? So this is a very, very easy question here. So valence electrons of bromine. So I'm assuming that that this would be asked in kind of a grade nine setting, right? So it's again, how many valence electrons are with bromine? So what we can do is we can draw a bohr rutherford diagram, right? And so we have to do BR here. We put bromine in the middle. And I would have to look at how many shells or how many shells do I need for bromine, right? So bromine here is not a metal. It's a non, it's not a metal, it's a non-metal. So it exists on this side. And as you can see, number 35 here is BR, our bromine, right? So we're gonna have, let's see, one energy level here, one shell, two shells, three shells, and then four shells here, right? So I'm going to have to draw four shells. So this is my first shell, second shell, third shell, and then our fourth shell, like so. So this here is our very, very big, uh, a very big, uh, uh, Bohr Rutherford diagram. So again, our first shell contains two valence electrons. Uh, our next shell has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whoops. Eight. Next shell has, again, one, a full shell. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. And then finally, our last shell has, let's see, if our last shell, if we're in group 17, our last shell will have seven valence electrons here, right? So again, one, two, and then three, four, five, six, seven here. So this here will have seven, one, two, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And again, it's asking us the question was, what is the valence electrons of bromine? You can simply just count the electrons Let's say count electrons in outer shell. Outer shell. Uh, therefore, there are seven valence electrons in bromine. So again, this is using the grade nine approach. Uh, we use a Bohr Rutherford diagram. If you were to be specific, if we were talking in the grade 12 context, what we could do is we could write the electron configuration for bromine and we could figure out that this also has seven valence electrons. But I'm assuming that this is asked in a kind of a grade nine context here. So again, uh, if I want to, I can highlight this in red. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, right? So I have therefore seven valence electrons here. So let's look at the answer for this question here. Again, they used the grade 12 kind of approach to use uh, to use electron configuration to kind of figure out how many valence electrons are bromine, which is totally fine. I just don't know what the context of the question is because it simply just asks me how many valence electrons does bromine have. That's okay. Um, and what they're doing is this topic number here is 35. So they wrote down the electron configuration of bromine. That's good. So I'm going to verify this 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 4s2, 3d10, and 4p5, right? So remember, this is the 4p2 here, 4s2, sorry. This is 3d10, and then 4p5 would be 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. That's correct. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Yeah, bromine is fifth, the fifth one here. And all we have to do is uh, since the highest energy level is four, what we can do is take, we take this for the four S2 and the four P5, we're adding two and five here, which makes seven valence electrons. So this here is the correct, uh, correct solution. So seven valence electrons, correct. So this here, they justified using the, um, the, uh, electron configuration, but here we can also justify with the Bohr Rutherford diagram in this case. Again, incorrect the incorrect model, but for the sake of being if it's asking from a grade nine perspective, this would be a valid answer. So great solution. Uh, good analysis. So depending on the context of the question and the course uh, related to it, can also draw a or Rutherford diagram to figure out how many electrons in the outer shell. That was number six. That's good. Let's.